Maybe you've heard the analogy before that a Christian should study their Bible like an athlete studies their playbook. But I want to discuss it a little bit different, so hang with me if you think, oh, it's just cliche, I don't care, it's cheesy, whatever. A lot of people, uh, especially Christians that grew up in the church, think you're supposed to read your Bible so much time because you read your Bible and God is watching you and kind of keeping track and the more you read your Bible, the more he's gonna bless you in life. A lot of people think like maybe you'll have a better chance of him answering your prayer if you've done the time, if you've read your Bible a certain amount of time and the more you read, the more you study, the better chance you have of God answering your prayers. That's not true. To use my playbook analogy, that would be like the more time that I studied the playbook, like the coach watches you and keeps track of how much time you spend in your playbook and then he awards you playing time based on the amount of time you spent on your playbook. But that's not how it works. I'm gonna read just a couple sentences from this article that Adam Thielen, wide receiver for the Vikings, wrote. Uh, he wrote a, a piece for the Players' Tribune just about his journey, being a small town kid from Detroit Lakes, being a Vikings fan as a kid, to going to Minnesota State Mankato, to eventually making the Vikings team to now where he's a starting wide receiver. And actually his numbers put him as one of the best in the league right now. Um, but I just wanted to read a quick thing that he said in here. He's talking about his tryout, the first time that he got a tryout for the Vikings. And he says, I learned the whole playbook, the same one the vets take all off season to learn in a couple of days because I knew that to give myself the best chance to stand out, I had to go out there and play fast. I didn't have time to be thinking. And to me, that's why you study your playbook. That's why you study the Bible. So the coach had no idea how much time Adam spent in the playbook. So he wasn't gonna reward him or give him a spot on the team because of strictly the fact that he spent a lot of time in the playbook. But in learning the playbook, he was able to be more productive on the field. And that production on the field got him the results he wanted. He stood out at the tryout. He eventually got a spot on the, on the practice squad. And then now, as some of you know, Adam Thielen is now um, a starting receiver and maybe the best receiver that the Vikings have right now. And he worked his way up, but it all started with that opportunity that he had. And so he studied the playbook, not to get the coach to see him studying and get rewarded that way, but he knew that his effectiveness on the field was gonna be determined by how well he knew that playbook. You should read the Bible and study the Bible, not because you have to do a certain amount of time to get God's blessings or to get his, your prayers answered, but because the more you study the Bible, the more you read the Bible, the more you get to know it, the more effective you will be in life. The other thing Adam said in here is that he didn't have time to think. So he had to memorize the plays and know it ahead of time so that when he got out there, he didn't have to think about it, he just did it. And that's the way it is studying your Bible too. When you know God's word and you understand it, then you can react quickly and you don't have to think about, oh, I'm sick. What's a verse on healing that I can get? Oh, I'm in a, a tight situation financially. What's a verse uh, on God's blessings that I can, can quick quote? When Jesus was tempted in the wilderness and the devil came at him three times and he always had a quick response. For it is written, man shall not live on bread alone. He had that quick. He didn't have to go, hold on devil, let me, let me go through these scrolls that we have and see if I can find something that applies to this situation. He had it memorized, he had it in there, not so that God will see the time that he put in and then bless him because of that, but because he, he understood it and he knew it, he could quote it, he could live it right away and he, you'll have a more effective life. And then naturally things will come to you, things will be better because you're applying God's system to life. And when you apply God's system, the way he created you to live, this, the way he set up this world, the more effective you're gonna be in life and the more you're gonna produce and the better life's gonna be for you. So yes, an athlete will be rewarded with more playing time if he spends more time in his playbook, not because the coach saw him and keeps track of how much time he spent, but the coach will see his effectiveness on the field and he's gonna earn more playing time and he's gonna be more productive on the field, he's gonna catch more balls, he's gonna score more touchdowns because he understands the coach's systems and how to be effective in it. So I'm just gonna encourage you to spend time in the Bible, to study God's word, not because you have to, not because God is up there and he's gonna punish you if you don't and he's gonna bless you if you do. But understand that the more you read, the more you're gonna understand his system, the more you're gonna be able to apply that to your life and the better off you're gonna be.